Okay, hi my fantastic fourth graders. Yes, this is module three, lesson 16 with Mrs. Fusca. And at the end of this module today, I'm going to share a riddle with you. And if you write it on your paper, I'll know that you're really listening well. Okay, wait for it till the end. Okay, today our learning target is that I can solve two digit dividend. That's the number that I'm dividing like the large number that I want to divide up into smaller parts, um, I, can do, I can do two digit dividend division problems with remainders in the ones place by using place value disk. So we're gonna be going back to our place value chart. We're gonna be using place value disk. Okay, so listen carefully. Okay, division using place value disk. So here in my first problem, I have six ones divided and I want to divide it into three groups. Let me show you how we're going to do that on our place value chart. Okay, so my total is that I'm going to have six discs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now here's where it gets different. I want to divide them into three equal groups. So I'm gonna put a line here and I'm gonna make three groups. And then my, my quotient is going to be how many is in each group? Like how do we divide them evenly? So let's do this. I make one group, two groups, and three groups. So group one, group two, group three, okay? So I'm gonna take one, one and put it here one, one, I have to do those three times, okay? Now I have three left, okay? So I'm gonna go, oh, one, two, three, and I'm gonna put them in the groups. So now I have, I've divided them into three even groups. How many are in each group? Two. So I know that my quotient is two. Six divided by three is two. It's kind of like you have three people to divide candy between and you want to make sure everybody gets the same group, same amount, okay? Or it would not be fair. Okay, so let's look at how to do that with the number 36 and we're going to divide that into three groups. So when we look at the number 36, it means we have how many tens? Three, one, two, three three and how many ones the same as before I have six one two three four five six so now I have 36 on my chart and then I want to divide them into three equal groups so I'm going to put down here one group one group two group three groups okay so let's start with our tens I have one two three each group gets one ten that's fair. If I had 36 pieces of the handy, I give 10 to one person, 10 to another person, and 10 to the last person. That's fair. Now, I have six ones. So I'm going to go one, two, three. I'm going to divide that up. Everybody gets one. And now I'm going to divide the second three up. Okay. And do I have any left over? No, I don't have any left over. So um, my quotient is going to be 1, 10, and 2, 1. So my answer is going to be, my quotient is going to be 12. So if I had 36 things and I divided them into to three of my friends, each person would get 12, whatever it is, flowers, candy, I don't know. You pick what you want it to be. Okay, in this thing, in this uh, problem, I have five things. Uh, they could be five little birds or five pieces of candy. I always like to use pieces of candy. And then I want to divide them into four groups. So let's draw that on our place value chart. Okay, I put five um, pieces of green candy on my place value chart. And how many groups am I gonna make? I'm gonna make four even groups. They have to be the same or it's not fair. That's division, we divide evenly. Okay, so here's my first group. I can circle that, like here's one group, two groups, three groups and four groups and my four groups have to be even so I'm going to take away one two three four so my quotient is that everybody gets one piece of candy and there's one left over which is my remainder okay so let's look at a little bigger problem now we have 45 divided by 4 so let's put that into our place chart value chart and then we have to divide it into four equal parts we have four friends they each get the same pieces of candy okay so let's do that 
Okay, I made them spicy cinnamon candies. Okay, so I have, uh, I need to divide them into four equal groups. So let's put our groups down here. Okay, I have four equal groups at the bottom. Now I need to um, divide these up equally. One, two, three, four. Everybody gets a 10. And now everybody gets a one. Okay, so everybody gets a 10 and a one, and then there's one left over. So everybody gets 11, and then we have one remainder of one. One is left over. Okay, so 11 is my quotient, remainder of one. See how we divided it up equally between four people, four times? Okay, in this one we're gonna have eight pieces of candy or whatever, and we're gonna divide it into three groups. Okay, this time I use blue. I have eight blue berries, and then I want to put them into equal groups of three. Divide them. We're dividing, divide. So let's put that into three equal um, parts, and then I wanna show you how we kind of do long division on this slide. Okay, I have three equal little parts down here, and I need to just put in my blueberries. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then I have two left over. I don't have enough to give everybody another one, so these were, will be my remainder. Um, so my answer is going to be two, because each person gets two blueberries, but then I have two left over. Okay, not enough to give everybody another one. Okay, how would that look when we use long division? So let's let's try that. Um, we're going to be using this pattern to go into long division, so look carefully. Okay, you would write it like this. 8 divided by 3 equals 2. Then we say, we have a little times thing here. 8 times, or 2 times 3 is 6. We subtract here and we get 2. I can kind of compare. Can two be divided equally by three? No, it cannot. So then I put up here that my remainder is two. Okay, let's do this one with place value disc and then I'll show you how you do that in long division, okay? If you're not getting the long division, don't worry. We'll spend some a lot of extra time on it, okay? But let me just show you. Okay, first of all, I have 68 things and I wanna divide them into three equal groups. So let me put that on my place value chart, on my disc, six tens, eight ones, and then we'll divide them into three even parts. Okay, I kind of put mine in rows of three, so that helps me kind of figure out how I'm dividing them. So I'm gonna go three tens, one, everybody gets a 10, and then three more tens. Everybody else gets another 10, okay? Over here, Three ones, everybody get a, gets a one. And then the next one, everybody gets another one. And then I can't really divide the last two, so that's my leftover, my remainder. Okay, so let's put our answer up here. It's going to be two tens, 22, with a remainder of two that are left over. Now, let's look at that in kind of long division, and we'll be working on this, so don't worry if you don't get it yet. Okay, we have 68 total and we're going to divide that by three. So what did I do first? Six tens divided by three um, is two tens, okay? So then I wanna put that in here, six times three, remember that's a 10, so it's 60. Then I wanna subtract, I have zero, and I bring down my eight. Now I have eight ones, I wanna divide my eight ones, just like I did on the chart, by three, and I can do that by, two, then two times three is six. I subtract, and then this shows how much I have left over. I, I can't divide that two into three equal groups. There's not enough, so my remainder is two. Okay, so you're gonna go to your succeed book, and you're gonna do page 193, 194, and 195. Don't worry, they're just, they take up a lot of space. So um, to check your work, you remember that division is like the uh, inverse of multiplication. So like in problem number two, um, it's 67 divided by three. So then you will um, take your t uh, take three times whatever um, your answer, your quotient is, and then you should get three times that 
would be 67 plus whatever you have left over. So try that. If you're having trouble, put a question mark and we will work on it tomorrow. So here is your riddle. Okay, so um, there was a cowboy and he rode into town on Friday. He stayed in town for three days and rode back out on Friday. How is this possible? Okay, if you want to, you can email me your, your answer to the riddle or think about it. You can tell me tomorrow. Bye.